Hello YouTube viewers, I welcome you to my show Camera Tuesday, episode 2. So today we're gonna look at the most popular item in photography, a DSLR. So let's dive right into it. So the question comes to the mind, what is a DSLR? Now, in simplest sense, the most simple thing you have to understand, D stands for digital and SLR simply means you're gonna see through the lens that you have. Nothing more than that. It's like you can see what your lens sees. Now you might say that, you know, that's what a point and shoot camera does and you will be correct, but you have to understand SLR came way, way, way in past. So all things considered, that time it was kind of necessary to see what your lens is actually showing to your film or uh, early sensors. So that's how we got SLR and D is just the digital. Now, so why DSLR is so popular? Think of it this way. It is one of the easiest symbol of wealth. Like you go to a you know zoo and you pull out a big ass DSLR and everybody's like, damn, that guy knows what he's doing. Like DSLR has this vibe to it. It's like iPhone, only more useful. So suffice to say DSLRs have become uh, very, very uh, integral to our, uh, you know, day to day life, especially if you are, you know, uh, going around. Now, this is actually good and bad both. So we'll look that uh, we'll look into that in further episodes. Now, so you got the DSLR. So what does it do? Now, you have to understand DSLR also comes with one unique ability. Now, that ability is called interchangeable lens. Now, that changes everything. Like earlier, you were like one camera, it already has a lens. So you are stuck. The lens might be very good for like, you know, taking photos of the large buildings. Like, you know, it has a wide angle lens to it. And you were like, eh, I don't want buildings. I want people, I want people photo. So you'll be like, I need this sort of lens. So you'll be like, okay, for portrait, I need this lens. How do you mind that? There comes the, you know, the miracle aspect of current SLRs. They have interchangeable lens aspect to it. It's It's been there for quite some time, but uh, suffice to say, uh, interchangeable lens camera coupled with a very high end sensor or at least a full frame sensor, they're going to give you the best image quality that is available to general public there are certain cameras that can top it but it's not for general public like there is some medium format camera there is some freaking nasa cameras yeah there are cameras that are better than that but you cannot buy them so all things considered dslr a it's a status symbol b it gets the job done so it's quite popular nowadays however all things considered you have to understand I have seen way too many friends, like literally people who I know and interact with, whose DSLR became a paperweight quite quickly because DSLRs are heavy. So be mindful. DSLRs are not something to be like, you know, thought of, oh, I'm going to take a DSLR to like try to hold that camera up for a few minutes and you will understand what I'm saying. So let's do a quick recap. All you have to understand is a, it's a status symbol. It makes you look pro. Whether you are pro or not, that's up for debate, but it makes you look pro. It's Two, it gives you the best image quality because you can compile it with whatever lens is suited for the current task you have. So basically, in basic sense, basic sense, sorry, why I said in basic sense, right tool for the right job. So all things considered, you get what you paid for. It is a status symbol with one side effect that it's ludicrously heavy and becomes a paperweight quite soon. So. I hope you like this presentation. I hope you to see you another time. And if you like this presentation, please subscribe, press the bell icon if you are free. And uh, I hope to see you next time.